sit. Gussie. Come. Sit. Good boy. Gus is going to meet Aries, hopefully through this right here. No, wait. Perate. That's perate. No. -uh. Sit. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Stay. Aries is over here in her little cat hotel, little avion. <laughs> commercial from Hostess. Okay. Wait. Stay. So basically, I want to get near her and just prevent any uh, boundary break that is too close. Like, like, this would be too close. I want him at least four feet away. If he's beyond that, wait. No push. He's pushing it. Push it. Okay. Good boy. Shh. Back. Good boy. Shh. Back. Back. So just giving him back commands. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, yes. Guess he come here. Gus, sit, good boy, down, good boy, stay, yeah, stay, there she is, good boy, good boy, leave it, and so she's going to have to tell him like, you know, down, back, Back. She's doing it. Shh. Back. Back. Go. <clears throat> so I think this is enough interaction. Um, come here, Gussie. This way. Down. Down. Good boy. Stay. No, no scooching. <laughs> back, back, back down. Come here. And if he doesn't listen to the command, down. I take physically take him by the leash. Stay down. Good boy. Yeah. Just showing her, basically I'm showing her that he's okay, he's a friend, and I'm scratching him so that he can have that autonomic reaction right there. Stay with me. Back. Back. And I'm, I'm pushing on him. I'm saying, hey, that's too much. That's a boundary break. Don't do that. Come here. He's going in. That's where her uh, litter box is. Come here, Gussie. Down. Lay down. Good boy. And I'm lowering my head as as I'm giving the down command. Or if I'm up in the air, I'm going like an elevator almost. Or a plane, right? If I'm doing that right. That's the, the ASL hand signal for down that I've assigned to him. Um, you know, ASL is, well, sign language is different in every country, but that's about as close as I want them to be, you know? It's about four, four to six feet apart, you know? Um, but I, I want them to just exist in between me. I want to honor her boundaries, right? I'm gonna lay down, showing that I'm relaxed too. Good girl. She's cool. Good 
a girl. So I just don't want to push her too much. Nope, down. He, he's like looking over me. No, nope, down. Gussie, come here. Come. Down. Down. <laughs> See if I can. <laughs> I gotta lay it on me. Just so that he can be held. Um, just like she's held. Sometimes. Cats don't usually like to be held too much, but um like I want her to see that I'm holding him. Don't know why. And he's not getting away or biting or growling at me. Alright. Good boy. And if she, if she comes up and smells his butt, that's fine. That's what I want to have happen. So I'm going to try to inch my way over towards her so she can smell him and his butt. Just like two dogs smell each other. See if it'll happen. Not going yet. I'm looking from this angle. <laughs> Good boy, stay. Good stay. Good stay. I'm just holding him right here and seeing if she'll do that. He's kind of squirming out of my. Yeah, so I'm let him. Let him go. Back. Back. A shake of defiance, right? Just like shaking off that energy, right? He's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't want to be down like that. Um, good boy. Up. Praising him for a good interaction, right? Praising her verbally, and then maybe with a little bit of touch. Good girl. Water. He's getting some water. Good girl. Girl. Mm-hmm. She's accepting love. That's good. Yeah, we definitely want, come here. Want to have positive interactions above all else, right? It's better to have, you know, 20 slow interactions. Good boy, down. Yeah, down. Good boy. Trying to say the command once. Right? See if he'll obey it. Getting out from in between him. Seeing if he'll obey it, right? All of these things I'm doing super slow. He's got sticky eyes, right? Or intense eye contact with her. And she's chilling, but she's looking at him too. Right? Go down. Yeah. Relax. Good boy. I'm popping my toes. Basically just wanting to have, like he's looking somewhere else over here, right? That's a good thing. You want, I mean, obviously this is, a dog is going to look at a cat this way. It's in, it's natural, inquisitive behavior, right? Um, but as they're around each other, um, as they get to be comfortable around each other. She's closing her eyes, right? She's kind of sig signifying to Gus, hey, be chill, be chill, you know? Have a little bit of cat energy, right? And he's chill, right? He's not panting as hard. He's kind of... You can kind of see right below his his front elbows on his on his uh, paws over here. They're down all the way, right? 
sometimes like right here, right where he pointed, uh, they'll be up a little bit, right? Oh, there we go. And he goes on his side. He's playing. Good boy. Yeah. Praise him. Praise your puppy. If they're having an interaction and it's an intense stare like that, and he starts to go into this play mode. Good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, what a good boy. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Yeah. And then do all the things that they love. Scratch him in their little spot right there. He's playing with me. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> he smacked the camera out of my hands. Cool. That's... Okay, hi. We're back. <laughs> Leave it. And so see that lean in right there? I know to to break them up. Okay, back. This way. Good boy. Yeah. And so he wants to show that he's a puppy and that he's a good boy and that he's play biting. He, right? He has bite inhibition, right? Or he's nibbling and he knows not to just argh, bite me right it's just like good boy yeah so that was good if he had gone towards her a little bit more i would have honored that boundary or forced that boundary to be honored because she is going to claws into him right but she needs to be at that point too she's gonna tell him eventually hey you know bop, 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 bop. smack him a few times maybe Maybe paw at him a little bit. Leave it. All right. Good boy. Leave it. So he thinks that touch means that he can break that boundary, right? That's why I'm giving him the leave it command. Okay. Um, Gussie? Oh, good boy. Good eyes. Eyes. Look at me. Hey, look at me. Good boy. Look at me. Eyes. No. Eyes. Eyes. No. Eyes. Look at me. No. Back. 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 Sit. Come. Sit. Good boy. Yes. Wait. Eyes. Look at me. No, eyes. Eyes, just like you're looking at her. Good boy, okay, okay. And I'm just petting him. I want him to have a dinner interaction, right? Like we're saying, but I also want him to uh, give me that good eye contact. Back, back, back. Good boy, down. Come here, down. Good boy. And then reestablish the closeness, right? That's pretty close. It's about four or five feet, four to six feet maybe. Um, but just to have them here chilling, that's usually, you know, you can do it between here, but sometimes there can be an interaction if the cat, um, is like kind of rushing or, you know, like trying to guard, um, or prevent the dog from going through, like putting their nose through, they can have like a intense interaction right there. So it's good to be on the side um, of the dog usually, um, but like for this instant, you know, for this example, I wasn't, but normally I would be over there, but it's, it's a kind of a closed space too. So you also want to allow the interaction to happen, right? However it happens and, and still keep, you know, maintain, help them maintain that boundary um, of good energy, right? You always want to prevent bad energy, right, or bad interactions, but you're, we're trying to solicit good moments of, you know, moments of good energy, right, and so um, sometimes you can't even get to this, sometimes this takes weeks or two months, you know, um, good boy, good down, yes, right, and so that is, um, 
down. No. Good boy. Good, leave it. So I'm just checking in with him. I didn't give him a physical correction through touch. Um, but he is learning, right? He's learning that he needs to honor that boundary. He's smelling, right? He's pacing all of the behaviors. Um, Gus, come here. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Go. See, so she hissed on that. I don't know if you guys heard that. But she's like following him, right? I'm going to get out of the way so she can actually see. Where he's at? Oh, he's way over there. Wow. Okay. Good girl. I love that she loves this little camper. I'm pushing a little bit hard. You know, maybe two pounds of pressure into her cheek right there. Good girl. Okay. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm Troy with Badass Pepper Mothers. And um, this is just a, a way um, to have multiple interactions so that you can figure out what works for you and your dog cat or cat dog interactions. Um, how to integrate, how to, how to create positions of safety and peace for the cat in this situation, right? And your family to where you can have these um, dozens and dozens of interactions that are small, uh, safe, and where both both animals are supported in their um, their newness to each other and the integration to to the family dynamic, right? Um, it's harder to do this the the smaller amount of time you have. So if you have to move, um, and you don't have like, yeah, you just don't have that much time. Maybe you have a weekend to do this. Maybe you have a, a whole seven days, right? A whole week. Um, but the fact remains you have to do it in steps and stages like this. Okay. It can't just be like, Hey, let's put them in a room. Um, see what they do. Right. You, you, it's, it's easy to do that. It's easy to, introduce them too fast. Let's just say that. I'll say that. Um, and because you want them to get along, you want them to associate together healthily, but sometimes that's hard to do within the time constraints that, that we have, right? So my advice is to take it slow. Um, don't be afraid to kick it back a couple notches if boundaries are broken, especially by the dog, right? The dog in this situation. Even with all guests' training, um, there is, you know, it's a natural prey instinct to, or a prey drive to chase small animals, rabbits, squirrels, bunnies, um, or like a hare, like a larger hare. Um, and so cats are around that size, so it's tough for dogs to go, hey, this is my friend, or to learn what, you know, you don't eat your friends. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but um, I hope all this helps, and I know that if you institute these principles and you put them in effect in the proper order, and you step it up as far as intensity, these techniques will work for you, um, just like they're working for these two. Gus and Aries, and um, I'm so grateful for, for my viewership and um, that you guys are learning and, and you guys are looking up these things. Um, there's, there's a lot of great channels out there to learn about, um, specifically cats. I think um, it's YouTube's more centered towards dogs, um, but I think, you know, I'm I'm a cat person too. You can be both a dog and a cat person. Um, you know, you can have proclivities for both. 
But uh, yeah, give these techniques a try. And uh, again, I'm Troy for Badass Pupper Mothers. And I hope you're having a great day.